Let's take a look at text-to-speech generators, cool, powerful, and all of them are different with their own unique quirks and features. Take my vocal AI, for example. Its main feature is the ability to clone your own voice and then use it in songs or speed generation. I know this sounds like something we've all seen before, but that doesn't matter because it's a very interesting tool to play with. But to clone your voice, you need to pay for a subscription and we're not gonna do that today. So for everyone who cares about their wallet, the next best thing is regular text-to-speech generators. Generation. And that's where another interesting thing about this AI comes into play. It has a really interesting voice selection. For starters, for free, you can generate only English here. And there are only 10 AI voices. And these are not your regular voices. These are the voices of celebrities or fictional characters. For example, do you want your videos to be voiced by SpongeBob or by Mario? Or you want to have some fun and play with Drake's voice? It's all there. Each voice generation is limited by only 500 characters, but that is a common thing for many voice generators. And as for the quality of the generate voices, it's all pretty okay. There are some artifacts that give out the AI nature of these recordings, but overall, it all sounds pretty decent. On an isolated island, a scientist creates a potion for eternal life, but decides it's too dangerous to use. The same can be said about Speech Easy, although this one is a bit special, if you know what I mean. It's not bad by any means, it's really good when it comes to the quality and consistency of Generate Voices. It just has a couple minor flaws that make it a bit less convenient than it could have been. For starters, its generation window is limited by only 10 seconds, which is roughly one sentence. And this, I would say, is the biggest flaw of it. However, if you plan everything in advance, generating high quality voiceovers with this AI is fairly easy. I also like that there are not too many controls. I can only choose one of three languages and choose a voice. I can say that there is an abundance of voices to choose from, but there definitely is enough options for every situation. What's even more surprising is that each of these voices is really high quality and the generate audio stays consistent throughout the entire audio. The style, the tone, the pitch, everything is solid here. I think this is a pretty good tool for someone who doesn't want to complicate things and want to generate short bits of audio without additional fuss. Hello, a bookshop where the characters in the books come to life after midnight. This is fantastic. Let's be real here. The majority of people who want to generate audio with AI don't want to learn how it all works and how each parameter affects the result. So for such people, the simpler, the better. And I doubt there is anything simpler than Read Speaker. Read Speaker basically eliminates everything that could confuse the user, leaving only three main elements. A window for input in the text, a drop-down menu for choosing the voice, and one button to play or pause the audio. That's about it. There are quite a few voices to choose from, by the way, each with its own specifics. And there are many languages too. Arabic, Chinese, Danish, French, and so on. Each language has a couple of voices for it, and all voices sound really good. Pretty realistic, and if played, for example, on the phone, no one would suspect a thing. Sure, if you use high quality headphones, you can hear the artificial nature of it, but you have to really pay attention. So yeah, for a simple and straightforward voice generation, this might be the best choice. In a village where rain hasn't fallen for years, a young girl named Eliza discovers a small, forgotten well. Generating speech is cool, but let's not forget that videos also exist. And that's where I want to introduce you to Video AI, the sponsor of today's video. Video AI is definitely one of the coolest tools for creating short videos out of long ones. If you see a podcast that you feel were great as a bunch of short videos, with video, you can do all the repurposing in a couple minutes. You just upload the file or the link to it and let AI do its magic. The built-in editor offers a ton of options for customization, different templates, text effects, and so on, video AI automatically detects scenes and makes the edit more impactful. And it also does captions with impressive accuracy. And if you think that that's all, you're wrong because video AI has a personalized content assistant Viddy built in. Viddy can create show notes, search SEO blog posts, LinkedIn posts, and so on. It can generate ideas for you and soon will learn to do even more complex things. There's also another cool feature, IntelliClips. These are the clips that AI doesn't let you edit, but they're kind of like little summaries compiled from pieces from various places in the video. And next to every generated clip, there is a special virality score, making it super easy to choose the best clip 
clip to upload. Video AI has a very clean and intuitive interface, so it's really easy to get used to it. I will leave a link to Video AI in the description, so be sure to check it out. Simplicity is the name of the game when it comes to text-to-speech generators, but who said simple means featureless? TTS3 is a great tool that introduces a new thing to the table, background audio. It might seem like a small feature, but when it comes to making your audio sound natural, proves to be very effective. All you need to do is either upload your own file or paste a link to YouTube or SoundCloud and AI will do everything on its own. I am not gonna repeat myself by saying that to generate the speech with this AI, you need to enter your text, pick a voice and click one button. You already know that. All voice generation AIs work the same way. What you should keep in mind about this tool is the quality of voices it generates and the abundance of them. This AI also lets you adjust the pitch of voice and its speed, but from my experience, I can say that it's better to leave everything at default settings just to get the highest quality possible. Overall, I do like this tool and think it can be a great choice for inexperienced users. It doesn't have that many limitations and its free feature set is extensive enough to be usable on a daily basis. The life that you are living now is also a dream of millions. So always be satisfied with your life. Be happy of in every moment of life. VoiceMaker takes a slightly different spin on speed generation. Instead of giving us an option to upload a background sound, it focuses more on fine tuning the recording. As it usually goes, we can pick any voice from a list, adjust the volume, its speed and pitch, but all that is pretty generic if you ask me. Where this AI really starts to stand out is when it comes to the recording customization. For example, at any given moment of the text, I can insert a pause of any length that I want. I can also make AI do an emphasis on something. All this allows me to precisely tweak the voice. And if you're trying to not only generate the voice, but also make it more artistic and dramatic, then you know which AI to choose. Some might say that these changes are arbitrary and unnoticeable, but don't underestimate the importance of a good pause. A strategically placed pause can dramatically change the way we hear the spoken words. And I urge you to work on that every time you record something or generate an AI voiceover. In a town where everyone whispers, Lily's voice is loud. When a mysterious silence falls, her voice becomes the key to uncovering the truth hidden in silence. And don't forget that you don't always have to input the text yourself. Often you can just upload it. For example, any to speech doesn't just turn the text you write into speech, but also your PDFs, articles, and even links. The quality of the generate voice is actually pretty good. No matter what type of media you feed to the AI, the voices sound nice and fairly natural and the ability to upload almost any file with text in it makes things so much easier. Now, for example, if I don't want to read an article, I can just paste a link into the AI and listen while cooking or something like that. This AI supports a ton of voices from the ones you know to some that do sound really professional and could be used in your content. I think if you're looking for one tool to roll them all, you might have just found it. It's fast, easy to use and really attentive to little details of pronunciation and narration. What else could you wish for? Well, maybe some emotions would be nice. You know how these AI generate voices can be monotonous and even sounding? Well, with text Next to voice, we can change that, given we have a paid subscription, of course. Nothing in this world comes free, and we have to get used to that. So, how does it all work? Well, first you input a text. The input window has a limit of 500 characters, which is enough for a couple sentences. Next, you choose one of the voices, and that's where it can get a bit confusing. Some voices have a star next to them, while others have a smiley face. The ones with a smiley face support emotions, and if you choose any of them, you can pick the exact way you want it to sound. For example, whispering does really sound like someone's whispering. It's not just a filter put on top of your regular recording. It's a totally different sounding voice. I can clearly see, or should I say here, that the model was trained in different types of voices with different emotions. So it's not just modifying your voice. Hi there. I can read any text in different emotions. Hi there, I can read any text in different emotions and stuff. The only real flaw I noticed about this tool is its interface. It's not really intuitive or easy to understand. There are not too many buttons, but if you do something wrong, it will be quite difficult to figure out where you messed up or why your voice isn't being generated. You know what I also like about AI tools? Funny names. Beep Booply does sound fun. As for the tool itself, it's also quite decent. I like that it gives a huge selection of voices and all of them 
can be used for free. Just look at this. That's far too many voices and those are only for English. Another feature that I do like is that voice style that we talked about earlier. In the previous AIs, it was called emotions, but here it's just a style. The list of styles is pretty basic, ranging from angry and cheerful to unfriendly and whispering. Then there are also speed settings, pitch settings, and volume settings. The last button lets me place a pause wherever I like, and it works like a charm. The default length is a second, but I can easily reduce that to a quarter of a second. Another notable thing is the speed of generation. It takes only a second to generate, and everything does sound lovely. Don't mind this message about Safari in Chrome. Everything works as it should. What I also like about this AI is that it doesn't force its subscription on you. You can use pretty much all of its features without paying a dime. And this is a rare thing to see in the world of AI. Sure, you can only generate 10,000 characters for free, but that is more than enough. AI woof, does almost all the same things, but adds one more layer on top of it all. Let's you translate the text you input and then generate a voiceover for it. But let's not get ahead of ourselves and take things slow. Once I input the text, I start choosing a voice that I'd like to use. The voices here are divided into three categories, male, female and kids. Then there are also three quality related categories, standard, premium and ultra. Again, the amount of voices that everyone can use is quite shocking. And what absolutely blows me away is the quality of it all. The voices sound so real that it's difficult to pinpoint any particular flaws of them. On a distant planet, Zara befriends an alien. Their friendship transcends language, proving that kindness and laughter are universal. From what I found, I do not recommend adjusting the speed in any way. If you make the speed even slightly faster than the default one, voices will sound strange. Good, but still strange. To translate the text, I need to press one button and choose a language. Then after the text is translated, I just have to change the voice to the one in that new language. Once that's done, I just press one green button and enjoy the results. I honestly don't know a single word in Arabic, so this part for me might be a bit difficult to comment on, but from what I hear, it does sound quite good and faithful to my expectations. Overall, I don't have any major issues with this tool. It's fast, responsive, and has some great features as you see. So far, the majority of AIs were quite advanced and had interesting features, but I think we should still take a look at something simple and intuitive, such as text reader AI. This tool follows the basic principles of any good product. The simpler, the better. There are only five things you can do. Type a text, upload a file, choose a language, gender, one of the voices. That's all. There are no more controls to master or parameters to know about. Everything is as simple as it can possibly be. Sure, there are not too many voices available, but this tool is completely free, so I think we can cut it some slack. The voice sounds nice and would be more than enough to fool somebody. And if used as a voiceover for a YouTube video, it won't be too distracting or annoying to watch. Sure, at times it might sound a bit fake and AI generated, but if you know how to use this tool or choose the right voice for your particular text, the results can be incredible. And again, it is totally free, which is very important, especially if you plan to use this tool every day. His first trip to the age of dinosaurs is thrilling, but getting back proves to be a bigger challenge. Time travel isn't for the faint of heart. Now tell me, do you know Spanish? Because Audiobot basically forces you to learn it to properly use the soul. As you see, my interface language is set to English, but all the text is still in Spanish. However, I'd say this is one of the quirks that I promised you in the beginning of this video. When it comes to the actual voice generation, this is really good. Has a ton of languages and accents to choose from, has all of the pitch, volume, and speed settings that we know and love. However, pauses in this AI work a bit differently. Instead of giving me an option to put a pause anywhere in the text, it only lets me choose how long I want my pauses to be. Once a sentence ends, it will count as many seconds as I asked for. As for the quality of the generate voices, it's very much on point. I do like how this AI manages to stick to particular style and pronunciation without sounding too artificial or unrealistic. The only problem that I see is that everything important is in Spanish, but maybe it's a good thing. Maybe learning a couple of Spanish words along the way isn't all that bad. Sara, living in a world where books are treasures, uncovers an ancient library beneath her home. As she reads, the knowledge unlocks powers within her, 
changing her fate and that of her world forever. And if you're certain that you don't want to learn any Spanish, then you should look at Verbatic or Verbatic. I don't know. It's basically the same exact tool, but with a couple layers on top. Has exactly the same selection of languages as the previous tool did, but slightly less voices to choose from. However, despite being pretty customizable, there is one thing about this AI that can be really confusing to new users. All the parameters you select get added to the prompt window as text. And if you're new to AI, you might think that they will also be turned into voice, but no, the AI is way too smart for that. So I'd say there is no sense in trying to understand why it works this way. Just space the text and press one button. Aside from generating speech, this AI can also clone your voice, but it doesn't work the way you expect it to. You need to not only upload the recording of your voice, but also type in the text you're saying. So for all intensive purposes, I'd say that this part of Verbatic should be avoided for now. Also, I didn't quite manage to force the AI to change the voice after the first generation was completed. If the same thing happens to you, I think reloading a page would be enough to fix things. A cat named Whiskers finds a mysterious map in the attic, pointing to a secret garden behind their house. Braving the unknown, Whiskers discovers a world of talking animals living in harmony. Honestly, I don't really like to fix things that should have worked on their own. And that's where we should turn our attention to Listener AI. Listener AI is one of the simplest AIs for turn text into speech. All you need to do is enter your text and pick a voice. No confirmation required. Listener AI starts generating the speech right when you finish typing. And the output quality is surprisingly solid. It supports over 142 languages including German, French, Spanish, and Hindi. There's also a wide range of voice options from adults to kids, male or female. It's cool that it offers many choices for voices and accents, even in less common languages. The main issue I found is with the timing of pauses, particularly after commas. They tend to be around 30% too long, which might make the speech sound a bit artificial. However, that is a minor flaw. Overall, it's an excellent tool for a speech generation that keeps things simple and doesn't hassle you with too many settings. But there can be only one true king of text-to-speech generation, and it's 11 labs. It's really easy to use. You just choose one of the languages, type in a text and choose a voice, and that's all. Eleven Labs is probably one of the oldest players in this field, and its model is by far the most well-trained and maintained. So all the results it gives are basically spot on. The AI does a really good job at simulating realistic pronunciation without making the voices sound fake, but that is not the craziest part of it all. Eleven Labs can also clone your voice. You just upload a voice, click a few buttons, and let the AI do its magic. Then when the voice is analyzed, I can just use it to generate voiceovers for videos. And the quality of the generate voice is so good. That if I didn't tell you, you wouldn't have known that my voice isn't real. I think if you ever plan on generating a lot of voiceovers, it would be worth investing into subscription to Eleven Labs. We make our own fortunes and we call them fate. All these AI voice generators aren't just fun tools to play around with. They can also be used for work and creating content. And to know more about that, be sure to check out our recent video about AI tools for content creators. Thanks for watching and see you there.